Hi guys, welcome back. Today is my second diary entry. It is December 28th, 2023, and I'm going to pick up my stocking from my grandma's house and probably go run some fun errands. I think I'm gonna go thrifting and pick up a new book. This is not gonna be fun for me to edit. I'm literally all over the place this morning, but let's go. I'm about to head over and pick up my stocking currently just finishing getting ready I'm gonna do a double like a two earring stack so the first one are these gold huggies from Kendra Scott and the second one are these pink I don't know if you can see that very well these are my pink hearted huggies I kind of get confused on like how to put these on because they don't like open up very wide I'm definitely like using the viewfinder so confused Ow! Okay, I got it through. I got my second piercing done in September and I was really good about keeping it in for the first like six weeks and then towards eight weeks the earring that I had in was really irritating my ear like it was just like a crappy one. No matter how good I would clean it, they'd just always be irritated from the metal. So I stopped wearing my second and third piercings. My third piercing I'm pretty sure is completely closed. I still can't get this earring in. I can't even see. Okay, ow. Yeah, that's definitely the hole. So every time I put my second piercing in, it kind of like, it will scab super bad and it hurts like to put it back in in the morning because like it'll create like a little film over it and then you have to pierce through that. Well, pierce. It's not really piercing. But other than that, I am so excited because New Year's is literally right around the corner like it's tomorrow i still have no new year's resolutions like i just haven't thought about it i don't know do good in school because new year's is right around the corner i get to change out my navel i got this done in like either the very end of june beginning of july so it's right around the time that i'm allowed to change out my piercing and it's healed pretty decently i'm not sure if I'm actually gonna do it like right on New Year's because I have to go like buy another bar so maybe I'll go look for one today but that's exciting news because I've been so impatient because I don't know if you can tell I'm 100% a gold girly my earrings, bracelets, even my anklet is gold and then this ring that my boyfriend got me and the only piece of silver, silver oh my god um, the only piece of silver I really wear is my navel and the stuff that my boyfriend and my brother get me they have like really good taste so like if they pick something out silver i'm like this looks too good for me not to wear so now that i'm all ready to go i'll do a little ootd here's the full fit oh wait i was supposed to do my ootd this way oops so here's the outfit <laughs> this is gonna be a mess for me to edit oh my god okay i have my kendra necklace i got this at target on sale so I got it like over 50% off and then this is a John Galt sweater, it's just like Switzerland on it, I got this yesterday at PacSun and then some nice very light cream jeans that I got from Marshalls. I think having cream jeans in your wardrobe is like a really big essential, like I think it can really lift up an outfit so I'm all ready to go, I just have to grab my keys and I think I'm going to take a little bag with me. I'm going to pause it, I'm confused. My car is dirty, oh my gosh. <gasps> She's so beautiful. I forgot my phone inside. Of course I did. Okay, so I cannot record while I drive. My camera is gonna go flying all over the place because there are very bumpy roads where I live. This is my baby. I need to keep it I need to keep y'all safe. So next destination I'm gonna be probably at my grandma's house. Okay. Okay, hi guys. I got my stocking stuffers. So I'm going to show you really quick. I got the M&M candy cane. I get this every year. I geek over it every single time. I, I will take this like a shot. I also got these really cute fluffy socks and I got two gift cards and two scratchers. Um, one of them is a Starbucks gift card. I am boycotting Starbucks, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. The people who bought the gift cards didn't know about the boycott and I used to eat at Starbucks a lot before the whole boycott started, but I haven't been lately, so I mean, I'm not giving them any more money by using the gift card money, but it just feels weird, so I'm not sure what to do about that. Um, maybe I'll just give it to someone else, but I'm currently resting in my bedroom upstairs at my Mimi's house because I feel like straight buns. I'm not gonna go thrifting or get a book today. Um, my throat hurts, my head hurts, 
I just feel generally blah and I'm exhausted so I think I'm gonna order some pho and I will definitely show you that because it's so delicious it has so many vitamins and antioxidants that really just make me feel so much better um, also if you haven't you guys should totally follow my Instagram I think it's kind of focused but Cali shoe underscore C-A-L-L-I-E-S-H-O-E -E underscore. If you guys want to show some support, I post some pretty informative things and personal things on here as well. So, yeah. I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to tap out. I feel so tired, but pho. I'm looking forward to it. I'm home now. I'm basically waiting for my parents to get home with the food. But I'm doing some dishes, so I just hand washed a bunch of mugs and cups and silverware. And I'm going to unload the dishwasher and then finish the rest of the dishes. Look at these cute cookie cutters. My brother and I got matching ones for Christmas. <laughs> They're little snowmen. I love. I never really make cookies from scratch, so I just take the pre-made dough and I flatten it and then I cut out shapes. So the funny thing is, I actually hate doing the dishes, but I felt really productive when I came home. So this is like itching my brain in the right way. The scrub tag? Do you see this? It's stuck to my bracelet. This has happened three times. I think I'm just gonna have to take this bracelet off while I do the dishes. I honestly probably shouldn't even be washing dishes in these, but like, who cares? Boop. All done. Let's go there. Now I'm going to feed my doggies. I have four. This is Cleo. She gets her own little blanket. She has bad hips. And this is Finn. So I have two, what's it called? Australian cattle dogs. One of them is a mutt, the other one is purebred. Then I have a golden retriever black lab mix. And then I have a pity mix. Her name is Sophie. She's my dog. I've had her since I was like in elementary school. She's the sweetest dog ever. They all are. And it looks like my parents' home, so let's get this done. So we used to use a portion scoop, and my mom still does sometimes. But honestly, I've been feeding these dogs for a long time. I mean, usually my mom or my dad does it, but... We kind of all know the portions by heart by now, so I don't really always use a scoop. That's... Sophie, stop. Stop! Sophie, that's not even your bowl. This is Sophie, by the way. She looks so guilty. Stop it. Look at her, you're so greedy. All right, I have to put the camera down so I can do this. So the dogs did get fed, and so did I. I didn't get any pictures or videos of my butt, but it really helps with my congestion. I do have my Thai tea, though all-time favorite from the place that I get it and right now I'm just finishing editing my software has been giving me kind of a hard time so it's taken longer than I would have liked but I still have some more stuff to do and then I'll probably upload this tonight or tomorrow but I will see you guys in my next diary entry thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful night um, stay happy stay healthy I'll see you guys bye how do I stop this